Hey, what's up, everybody? So, <clears throat> old good buddy G Red here with his good buddy Bam. Bam's not going to tell you what it is I love about smoking pot so much, but we all know. Um, on a serious note, uh, I wanted to go over a couple things. Uh, <clears throat> Not only for the past uh, seven years or so, I'd have to do specific math. Have I been tailed by the FBI and different compartments of the government, as the government is very compartmentalized, more so today than it was then. Um, <clears throat> I uh, later on uh, started getting set up uh, through various various means, uh, in my apartments, hotels, uh, had a lot of stuff to frame me, <laughs> to put it more, uh, direct, um, a lot of framing, uh, a lot of setup, a lot of, uh, uh, corruption, um, and also a lot of, um, at a time, that I knew my life was in very clear and present danger, um, especially before I got to the point where I had promoted myself effectively enough where, you know, everybody knows where I'm at now, and it's not just the feds, which is a positive thing, because I have to believe, and I don't know names, and I wouldn't tell you anyway if I did, but there's a lot of people out there watching the same stuff you're watching, but, uh, have got my back, I... I have to believe, you know, or who are at least, you know, rooting that I'll continue to live, um, you know, for quite a few years to come, uh, stay out of prison because, uh, yeah, the only thing that's come my way that he was even came close to prison was set up and I, uh, corruption and, Framing, <laughs> oh yeah, framing. That just makes it easier. And um, I worked my way out of those, uh, not by telling on anybody, not by going along with their system, and uh, but by doing a lot of jail time, doing a lot of you know hard time. But also um, learning a lot of um, life survival skills, like in the uh, 2012 when things were really a life or death peril. Uh, when I was ran out of my money that I got for back pay from the government and pretty much everything I spent it fast but I bought a lot of a lot of uh, things that I do not have uh, I had a car I couldn't run apartments because eh, it must have been a dozen or so first I had more than enough money to uh, get nice places and certainly I tried but uh, in the beginning uh, due to uh, you know, my bad credit and my, you know, felony record for theft and forgery in 2001, I couldn't get into a couple places, and I tried going word of mouth, and I must have went to a dozen places before I figured, well, I'm not going to be rented to, so staying in hotels was very expensive, um, and I, I, <laughs> I'm not going to apologize, I had a good time too, but I, I stand by my actions, and, uh, but uh, after the money and stuff where it was gone, um, me as well as a lot of Denver, was our lives were in danger. Uh, we were being hunted, literally, and it was a very dark winter, especially when I got a, uh, was homeless. Uh, my car got taken by the city, the government, whatever, and uh, I was in some very, very um, frigid uh, winter weather conditions. But I, I, the positives, I, you know, learned a lot of survival skills. I guess let me try and <clears throat> focus this a little bit more. Um, give me a sec. Memo. Okay. I'm buffering. I smoked a little bit of pot tonight. My uh, single serving uh, pot. My personal, triple personal personal supply of triple personal use pot, single serving, kind of like those single serving friends that I have so many of, but I 
would never remember them because if you ask me, because I, I, I just tell you, I ain't going to tell you. People don't ask me questions. Now I was going to stare at you while I buffer and try and remember who I was at. Okay. Um, and, you know, my, my life was much more in real uh, danger of somebody coming and murdering me um, than it has been, you know. One, I've, uh, I've carried myself with, uh, throughout the streets in different geographies and uh, in a way that I have to believe that, you know, that's a good reason I didn't get killed. Uh, I made a lot of, uh, you know, I had to have, without ever knowing details, truly, um, I have to have known that I impress a lot of people and, you know, uh, not impress so much, but I'll get it. I'll take it. Anyway, just uh, point being, I I, uh, I grew a reputation, and uh, for I'm not even gonna you know begin to go into all my great quality, but uh, at all. Um, but more recent, let's fast forward. Um, you know, I, I've known people that wanted me dead. I have. You know, I speak out very openly about factual stuff that I have learned through my travels and through different factual means and being able to, and also being on the um, defensive end of the federal government in, for the past seven years in so much um, infiltration, uh, insurgence in my life, agitation, um, set up framing, uh, jail letter, geez phone calls, everything has been manipulated. There's a paper trail a mile long. I'll never pursue anybody criminally. Uh, if I had the energy, I might, but I don't, to uh, pursue a lawsuit against the federal government. Certainly all the evidence is there, but, you know, um, I'll just put it like I did a long time ago. <clears throat> Why can't we all win? Like, <laughs> I remember seeing Dive Your Memory with Castro. Well, how about this? Um, I certainly became. How about this? Give me a ticket to any place I want to go outside of this country, the heads of this country. I love this country. I love everywhere I go. I love people. I don't know your names, but let get me to where I want to go and give me a, you know, let's say a $5 million payout for literally um, all of the just brutality that I've dealt with. Um, anyway, or you know what? Just give me a ticket without the pay. Because here's the thing. When I'm asking for these things, I'm not going to give anything of myself or my life, and I'm not signing anything for you ever. I will be independent and on the uh, private circuit till the day I'm dead. And that's kind of why I'm making this video, because... Um, I certainly, you know, I'm sensing, kind of like Martin Luther King did, that maybe, you know, maybe my days are numbered. I'm, I don't fear death, and haven't in the least, meaning the thought of death, dying. If I die, you know, I'm not in fear of that on any sort of regular basis. However, the, when I do fear dying is when a clear and present danger through my many... Um, many abilities to sense things based on my past and my senses, senses and um, clear and present danger is what I um, say when I mean my or anybody else um, that I care about or <clears throat> anything is in danger that yeah makes me feel fear that's a good fear that's a fear that saved kept me alive when I shouldn't have been so many times, or they didn't want me to be. 
but uh, I'm certainly sense that it's, it's getting pretty stressful. I've been dealing with this for seven years. I'll never give in to the man. Uh, I'll never flip, become a payrollie either. It's kind of my sense at this point. They'll dart me, which is, uh, you know, federal jargon for you snuff me, you know, under the under the radar. And that could be anybody, not just feds, formal feds. It, this government has covert operatives of so many endless amounts all over this country and the world, meaning they are um, being given, you know, basically, in, um, immun I want to say immunization, um, freedom, they're protected by the government, so if they break laws and stuff, things can be swept under the rug. And uh, certainly there's endless amounts of people that have been um, intimidated or, um, you know, their lives have been put through enough at whatever point they got to and they were, um, you know, brought on to the payroll. I call them payrollies, but, you know, certainly. And a lot of that is the government's fault. Well, um, they prey on families and people and, you know, the law and the legal system is such that if you enter into any sort of contract with the government, meaning marriage or, <clears throat> you know, if you've got a kid, it gives them, which is not anybody's fault but the current U.S. government, <clears throat> it gives them a means to control people because now they have so many agencies and you've got kids and they can get in. Um, <clears throat> it's just like the past several years of my life. I never see things firsthand, but I'm able to put things together because I've seen it. I tell people sometimes, you know what, when, I, when I'm when i just, you know, well past, uh, uh, you know, sure that they were gotten to probably right when I thought they had been. Meaning, let me explain that. The past few years of my life, the only people have, who have been in my life either have been people that were beforehand prepped and put into my life um, to be an undercover cooperative or um, also many times I meet people and I can sense because I do have a very, very detailed memory um, on a lot of things, um, a photographic memory, photographic picture of mine. I can, I see things in picture a lot of times when I'm thinking. So, with that being said, um, yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. Short-term memory loss, one of my favorite, <laughs> favorite side effects of marijuana use that I love so much. Um, but, you know, oh yeah, okay, so I can always tell, like for instance, I meet somebody, um, I start hanging out with them, um, there's somebody that need a place to stay, I let them move in. Uh, nobody specifically, because this has happened endless times over different geographies over the past few years. I, it's something I, I do and I don't apologize for. Um, Trying to help people out. Um, but uh, let's say somebody comes in and they're nice and they're, I can sense they're real, they're really, you know, being legit. And I, I can read people pretty well, I'm pretty good. Uh, Sensor bullshit, um, <clears throat> psych, uh, human emotions, uh, traits, you know, like um, just body language. Thank you. Um, so I can, and I also have uh, six sense, so that doesn't hurt things either. Um, but with all that, I can. Uh, I don't know where I was going with that either. We'll talk that up to marijuana use, my favorite. I love it so much. Let me get back on point. Um, point being, I've been dealing with this for years, and every time my life is put in very, very um, dear, either physical, like my life is online, life and death, and it, it's happened many times, which I... I don't worry about in except when it's actually clear and present danger. And also, um, I have had many stressful legal uh, fucking 
charges, framing, uh, half true, you know, just corruption, a setup. Um, and I, I'm not even concerned about, you know, nobody's got to worry about their ass on that end because, I, like I said, I don't go after people criminally. I believe it's street court to an extent. I, I'm not a, I'm not a killer. I'm not a violent person, you know. But uh, I do believe in. Anyway, back on point. Um, yeah, that's all there. So I guess I'm just making this video because. I'm getting stressed out and to the point where I've been dealing with this seven years and also besides me just dealing with it because believe me and I mean this from the bottom of my heart the farthest thing from the truth could be that myself has been my concern I don't like to talk about my feelings and I'm very humble like when I've helped people out many times along the way or moved things evil energies or presences or situations along that I sense very uh, factually were going to be somebody's demise or doom or harm. Um, <clears throat> I've moved those along and I've figured a lot of people I sense without knowing details have done that for me. So that's kind of that's kind of cool. I, uh, I want to thank because I... I gotta believe somewhere along the line I get um, confused. Now you can understand it as being uh, very dark and pessimistic and bitchy, or like I bitch a lot. Not bitchy, but <laughs> radio edit. Um, I bitch a lot or complain too much, but I, I, I don't see that. I, um, I'm actually an optimist um, in my mind um, because all the cool things and all the cool people I've met and all the good times I've had and all the people I see, anytime I see somebody I know, I'm just, you know, kind of keep it to myself. All the, the cool things, the just amazing experiences I've had over these past few years, I don't talk about because I don't think it's appropriate to talk about details, especially in a public forum. That's kind of what entertainment is all about, or, you know, or being famous. Um, I started out as infamous. I certainly like to cross that barrier because <laughs> that is the barrier. There's, um, <clears throat> I think, uh, I got a lot, I'd like to think I got a lot more people who care about me and are looking out for what I, my best interest, not what they want for me, um, necessarily, you know, but, uh, yeah, I have a feeling that people are, you know, uh, you know, appreciate, and I appreciate, and I don't say it because, and I won't go into specifics in a public forum, and I certainly don't have the time to call and contact everybody that, but thank you. <laughs> I mean, the, I know I'm not the only reason that I'm still here, not in prison, uh, and, you know, I'm, I'm grateful. So, um, I just, um, point, I guess the reason I made this video, I remembered, uh, tonight Martin Luther King, uh, I believe, uh, days before he was shot, he, uh, kind of was getting the sense, but, you know, I remember, you know, loosely quote, quoting or referencing the, uh, the story, <clears throat> I believe he stated that, uh, um, even if he died, it would have been all worth it. And I'm the same way. Um, I'm sensing things are just getting to the point where I'd like to think different, and I do, and I'm going to continue to believe. But I guess where that would have to change is I'm not going to go off the independent uh, surrogate. I'll make disability <clears throat> until I'm able to effectively get a creative process in my life or collaborate and use my talents <clears throat> that I cannot use, um, which is why I get Social Security being micromanaged. Basically, I have an ability to take a general direction and, you know, <clears throat> when, yes, given a process, given a point, uh, base points and allowed to create kind of like, you know, take that and that mirrors pretty much what I miss about the pro wrestling industry so much when they used to give the wrestlers you know a lot of the creativity to make their own lives and their careers and 
But, um, yeah, uh, I've learned how to, I've learned effectively how to, uh, I, I don't worry about death or incarceration, you know, uh, except when, you know, thankfully it hasn't been a, uh, for a few, <laughs> couple months here, it hasn't been a few months, whatever, hasn't been a uh, thought process. The only time I worry about that is when I feel like I'm getting set up, like people are coming into my life and things are being manipulated. But I'm not going to, I would never name any names because I don't know shit. I don't go on the record. I don't go to the media. I don't call 911. I don't think it's bad for other people in certain circumstances. Definitely have a use for 911. Um, like for instance, real quick, my mom was home alone and somebody's kicking her door. I think there definitely should be a, uh, uh, somebody to call um, who's going to be there quickly. Um, but <clears throat> just because I don't choose to utilize that, uh, it doesn't it's here or there. I think the police and the uh, authorities are used way, way too much. Every, in solving other people's problems, and especially the legal system and such, especially when so many people have become entrapped by it, um, or the government just as a whole, um, for them to, I guess Ventura said it best in a much more succinct way than I've been. Uh, you trade your freedoms for the protection, in the end you'll get neither. Absolutely, I, I agree with that. There's once they've got you, and once you have begun to comply with them, um, you're already involved in things, and they, it's going to get worse. Now, how, it, it can get worse. It has the capacity to get worse. Um, I believe a lot of society, especially anywhere I go, and I know this for a fact, is very processed and has been manipulated and brought into a very set up, um, <laughs> you know, are you kidding me? Um, they get paid, they they get a, you know, uh, bonuses or whatever, whatever they get, new cars, houses, you know, blah, 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 they get to travel, they get comps, whatever, they get a lot of comps um, to sit and stalk people, and here's the thing, I wouldn't trade, even through all the dark, that I will never even detail, people think I talk about myself too much, there's not, so much I will never get into. But all the dark times I've had to go through and all the hard times um, and the stress, I wouldn't change that, especially standing here, sitting here today, right now. I wouldn't change that for a fucking thing in the world. You put $6 billion in front of my face, I, I mean, it, who's going to do that? But you you could, and I'd piss all over it if you said that it, for to trade for that, I had to throw my fellow man under the bus, I had to throw my earth under the bus, I had to demolish, and do, basically, just best put, do things that I do not feel right doing. And that's not based on a law or religion, it's based on what I know in my heart. Now that could be different for everybody, and certainly is. I don't believe in this at all, I think it's crap, this, me personally, this universal one doctrine, one mindset, one way, um, <clears throat> I think that's the most, um, BS <laughs> thing I could think of. Think about it this way. All of us are individual beings. E each and every one of us, we all have different instincts, char characters. We have different personality. We see things different. Everything is perception. And the, anyway, with all that, you can you can try and live your life by, for instance, a certain doctrine that might say you got to uh, not have sex unless you're married. Uh, you um, can't do drugs. Blah blah blah. You can't jerk off. You can't cut lust. Or all these things are pretty much. Um, well, except the drug. Maybe I was thinking about myself. Pretty much like we are animals. I mean, we we all have our different interests and likes and to try and 
because what it comes down to is a person is not able to follow that doctrine to whatever degree. They have to go around and, you know, cheat, or I mean, like tiptoe around and lie, and, you know, it creates a lot of chaos in their life, basically just to put up the front to the publicly to the rest of the world. It's, a, it's an image thing more so than a, a reality thing. Um, <clears throat> but <clears throat> I think it'd be a lot healthier if people were just, you know, I understand work as well as anybody. I'm an actor too, but uh, I'm talking more along the lines of, uh, anyway, um, yeah, I don't know, I also have, uh, have a great sense that things potentially have the complete opposite than getting killed or set up. Like I said, I may, you know, I make this video. I was thinking of Martin Luther King and that, that not just him, but certainly what he said, and I could relate with that thought process because things are getting really. I mean, I've been doing this for quite a while, um, and just everywhere I go is plowed and uh, flipped, and you know, just mangled and corrupted and. Um, and it has nothing to do with me, actually quite the opposite. I've been doing everything in my power to fight this, and I will continue. And I've done, i made a lot of strides, but, um, yeah, they need, there's some, I, they need to back the fuck off, or I have an other option. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever explained this. I, I'm being sarcastic there, I have. I have a lot of abilities being <clears throat> uh, that could be utilized. Um, I'm basically a walking uh, billboard, meaning wherever I go in society, whether it be federal people, now I've got people, just public people that know who I am. I've got fans, you know, well, without them coming up, I don't, you know, I've got people that know me, so I've got a name. Anywhere I go, generally, if people don't know me when I get there, they will find out soon after I'm there. And also that has something to do with my boisterous, big jackass kid of a personality, which I don't apologize for. They're right. My mom did not give me enough attention. No, I don't, you know, that has nothing to do with my mom, but it's kind of true. I, I do like attention, um, but not just for me, but for... Anyway, um, I'm a walking billboard. So what that means in business is um, brands... Uh, you know, when I mean this, when I, I realized this in San Diego, when I was in the streets and I'd go into a restaurant and the whole area would be filled with just vehicles and, you know, um, even uh, business trucks going by advertising basically for free uh, by going by me because every area I go into is descended upon about by a large amount of personnel. So, meaning, you know, if I were able to <coughs> garner different you know, deals, endorsements with different companies to, you know, even with, you know, wear their gear or drive their car or, you know, their swag. I love swag. So, I mean, like, uh, anything that I can stand behind, I, I, I don't mind uh, promoting. And certainly promotion is a big, it's something that I have been self-taught, but I've, I, I think I've done very well. And I have. Um, and there's a lot more strides to be made, but, um, so... <clears throat> That could be good. Um, I am an athlete. Um, uh, pro wrestling is something I have confidence uh, in, not only, especially in just my abilities that I would be able to hone should I get back into the ring on an active uh, level. Um, also, uh, I, have a, I have so much endless interest, and not certainly just with uh, the WWE, um, certainly across the board. You, you, internationally with top promotions, I would have so much interest in going in and being involved in producing, um, you know, talent, uh, talent, um, or booking, um, being a medium between the talent and the office, not a stooge, but um, somebody that could bring, you know, go, like in Beyond the Mat when Vince Russo was going and talking to each person about, you know, that's kind of what he did at the time. He would get their ideas and kind of pass it back and forth, um, <clears throat> you know, a consultant, um, uh, pr production would be a wonderful thing, booking, booking absolutely, um, 
you know, yeah, um, online. I've been online since the age of nine. I'm 34, going to be 34 April 22nd now. Um, you know, I had a home page, meaning a page I built um, very detailed like anything I do that I have passion. But it was it was cool shit. Um, but it was all done in HTML from the viewpoint of a Greg at 15 years not 15 years of age. Um, it was um, you know I learned uh, networking was integral uh, in pro wrestling school um, far before the uh, um, the dawn of the social networking era. <laughs> era they get so much flack these days, but it's free promotion. My God, it's. Um, I've been on the internet all my life, and certainly I've developed a lot of techniques, promote, like I said, promoting not only myself, but other things um, up until this point without mostly getting any compensation monetarily, because there's been other benefits I will never go into uh, that have come, amenities that have come from being who I am, or, you know, and just kind of taking one for the whole team, man. If, if anybody wants to relate, I, I certainly am not calling myself God, but shit, everybody can blame it on me because God knows everybody else has. Now at that point, you know, I took one for the team. I've known for quite a while, you know, this is a small little out of the subject uh, thing. I've known for a long time that when all eyes are on me, a lot of other things go on. <laughs> that, uh, you know, don't get noticed. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, but here's the thing. Um, you make yourself um, a threat to my life, or especially, more importantly to me, I'm a people person, I care about people, um, but you make yourself a threat in any way, legally or physically or any type of, um, that is just too much to my friends' lives because that's where friends of mine are. And anybody I associate with in my life on a regular basis is a friend and they're good people. Um, and for the past several years, every area I've gone to has been flipped. People have been intimidated not to be my friend. You know, you know, sirens, you know, it's very stressful to be um, in my life on a regular basis, which is why not many people have stood their ground, or I, I take that back, been able to be a long-term friend with me on an ongoing basis, um, because things get too hectic and very weird. I understand for people who are unaccustomed to it, I've been dealing on the defensive end of it for seven years, so you got to figure I'm pretty comfortable these days. I, I don't carry a gun. I, you know, might carry um, legal uh, weapons, um, like a, yeah, in case I get jumped or something, you know, so I can defend my life appropriately. Or somebody breaks in my house, I have something to make sure that, um, yeah, I can, I can defend myself. But I, uh, and I'm pretty comfortable walking wherever I want to, uh, in any metro or any, you know, area of town. And I'm not bragging on that. I'm just comfortable with that. That's, and I kind of take it as a respect thing, which I appreciate it very much because for so long, it's, it's been the same thing. I'll go anywhere. And I certainly do as everybody can appreciate, but now it's not as stressful as it used to be to still do the same thing. I appreciate it when people were kind and, you know, not even, just pleasant, you know, to me or, you know, I, I look forward to the same when people feel comfortable. I often look angry and anxious because I probably am, a, if you see me out in or, or public or even a little bit uh, eccentric, um, but you got to figure you don't know, just like I can't see everything that you perceive and have seen and have experienced, you certainly can't me so I mean if you see me be acting a certain way or saying a certain thing on public um, I guess you'd be more open to that because I work on it every day is being open to the idea that it, 
things aren't always as they first look. A lot of times, to me, they are because... It, but, but, um... Let me wrap. Uh, acting. I, my life has... Um, not like an act like that at all. Actually, it's been a great thing at work. Uh, I, I was trying to progress and certainly to survive effectively against very um, uh, uh, just evil federal <laughs> means and like um, in, invasion and you know, uh, God, infiltration of everything in my life. Do you know, uh, as long as this started, I've I've been able to piece things together backwards, especially because when I have time to go back and think, you know, then I'm able, but like sometimes I don't see things in the moment, but certainly now I do much more because I've seen them so many times, especially when dealing with them, um, but I don't know where I was going with that, um, I, I, I appreciate acting, real good acting is when nobody knows you're acting, and certainly... I've been able to pull that off once or twice, we'll have to say, to survive, and and not even in a malicious way whatsoever. I often, um, I'm a good person, I know that on a daily basis, I screw up, I, I misjudge things, I sometimes misread things or blame people, you know, not premeditated, anything I do on an ongoing basis, unknowingly. Um, taking personal accountability here. And I'm certainly not going to uh, detail those things for you on this. <sighs> but uh, anything like that, I don't feel guilt for, and I don't apologize for. Um, because when I do feel guilty about something, I hate that feeling. And that's basically something that I do my damnedest to uh, not repeat. If I, if I feel bad, not by society's laws, not by religion's laws, but there's so many of them, not by the government's laws, but what I was born, what I know is right and wrong based on the situation. And, um, yeah, basically, uh, okay, going back, acting, acting, I have the feeling, writing, writing I'm very good at, um, uh, producing, producing, I have an imagine, amazing vision, like I can see a building, like, uh, not far from here is a closed down bar. I remember being in there one time, and not necessarily the business or anything, but the layout was so cool, and it's closed down now. And I can look at that, and I can just see amazing things I can do. That That's one thing. Do you know how many people I have besides myself uh, in my life that I can produce just amazing uh, concept, television shows, reality, um, Jesus Christ. Uh, my concepts are never-ending, and my vent, but I don't have investments in them um, yet. Now, music is something that certainly has always been just a lifelong uh, love. And uh, more more recent years, I've always been an excellent writer. I have a, a love of speech. And, like, um, not so much speech, as you can see, it's, I'm working on it. But much more um, love of vocabulary, linguistics, you know, <clears throat> language. Um, uh, and... Uh, yeah. Um, also, I am a, uh, I'm very athletic, uh, very agile. <clears throat> you know, I'm, I'm not even going to show off my physique right now. I think you'll all see it. Um, very agile and fast and, you know, uh, driven for somebody my size. I uh, have to, I do believe. Um, and OCD something I was diagnosed as a kid, I wouldn't call it a curse at all. Mental illness is, and I say this for anybody out there who has mental illness, I'll be the first one to tell you it does not, um, does not mean crazy because I certainly do not think of myself crazy. I see people every day in my life that I consider crazy and they're the most accepted people in, this, in the community sometimes. I mean, or just, you know, their positions in life are, you know, but, um, it's crazy to me when um, government-led and uh, funded uh, genocide, um, <clears throat> weather manipulation control, which is another form of genocide, um, uh, just complete and utter corruption and, you know, just endless amounts of psychological and physical and certainly 
uh, torture to people's ends of people's freedom that very well should have them. There, there's no need. There should be. There's basic human laws we should have to live by, and those are very few in number. From there, it's all based on situation. And believe me, um, even the people that are in prison for breaking a law that was a law, um, like for instance, an adult um, possessing or getting, you know, for sales or anything like that. I think that's a crime against humanity to lock that person in prison for decades. Well, um, a consenting adult to do anything, uh, put anything in their body, uh, should not be regulated by anybody, um, <clears throat> especially prison, or to possess something. Um, and now the laws are so broad, and I've certainly dealt with this firsthand, but also know towards so many others that it affects are so broad, so many laws, one, so many um, interpretation, meaning they can have subsects and, you know, add-ons and different um, codes and statutes and endless, and it's very vague in the terminology, meaning they can basically, along with the Patriot Act, um, you know, that gave pretty much knocked out the Constitution, they can pretty much f manipulate anybody's life um, and set it up um, in a legal manner for, to be legally um, uh, very uh, dooming to them should they not comply and become a bitch for the government, which, you know, let's face it, a lot of people have. Um, it is what it is. I, I think what matters is how we go from here on forward, but I'm not going to get into all that. Let me stay on track. Acting. Um, all these things um, that I have been <laughs> rambling on about, about like um, acting, promotion, um, certainly MMA to a degree, I, I don't want to do that for a full time, but I, I kind of like Brock Lesnar's position, and certainly I don't consider myself a Brock Lesnar, I'm a Greg Renner, certainly he, but what I'm saying is I, I respect his uh, place, position, um, and I'd like to be in somewhat similar things someday where I can... And that's kind of what I want to do altogether, entrepreneurship, is be able to move and uh, collaborate with different entertainment, music, um, wrestling, athletics, um, you know, and be able to move around and be multi-faceted uh, and have different, you know, <clears throat> business, own, my own business models going on, and, you know, uh, designing, like, I mean, blueprinting um, a, uh, like, entertainment and stuff like I computers and you know like pyro and stuff all I certainly I wouldn't be the guy doing the wiring but I have a good mind uh, visual mind um, and I'll be the first one to say like for instance um, singing singing is something I do all the time to try and improve <laughs> I, I get every once in a while well, you're not get well how else do you get better um I think uh, I think I'd be a pretty damn good uh, uh, singer in a band because uh, whatever I have vocally, I haven't had formal vocal um, training yet, which certainly will come um, to learn techniques to breathe correctly, you know, and get. There's a lot of things I haven't learned in that um, that I haven't been able to pick up. Certainly, um, um, as well as anything in any part the entertainment industry, I, you know, I often say that, you know, when I got into pro wrestling, I covered both, uh, you know, pro wrestling, which covers endless amounts of things, but also entertainment, and, you know, to a degree, I'm, you can trust me, and, um, you know, my stuff gets fucked with <laughs> by endless entities, many years back on an ongoing basis, do you know how many places I've had, and clothes, and, you know, a car, and, electronic, you know, but I'm not bitching, I'm just saying that, <clears throat> you know, I, uh, I don't want to keep having to, yeah, I want to, I want to go to work as an independent contractor, an entrepreneur, that's, I've effectively been doing it for free, doing lots of things, working my ass off. You say it lightheartedly, but now I, I stand by it 100% legit. My life is a 24-hour, 7-day-a-week job, and I certainly stand by that, um, even though I'm not getting paid for a lot of it right now. And it's... 
I like the lyrics in the Nickelback song, Edge of a Revolution, which revolution I certainly think is way overdue. Um, and I'm not going to get into that. I'll make another video about that. I'm going to kind of, I'm getting this mental uh, cue to kind of start wrapping it up. But um, the lyrics from Edge of a Revolution, you know, um, can't keep fed if I can't get paid. Well, I'll be dead if the shit don't change. And that ain't no shit. I love those lyrics and I love, uh, but going on to music, um, I have a state, I have a presence, um, you know, uh, performing, so yes, you think my vocals, uh, would certainly improve, uh, performing, writing, I'm very good at, um, even though I have no interest in playing guitar or drums, I believe, I am confident that I have an excellent ear for them, which I think is probably pertinent if you're going to be a lead, or a singer in a band, you know, potentially, conceptually. Uh, I I don't see that ever at some point down the road being out of, you know, the realm of possibility whatsoever. Um, I, you know, getting involved in screenplays and writing with others and, you know, like for different screenplays and, you know, certainly I have no interest in writing fiction or uh, books so much at all, um, but writing and Writing is definitely a passion, and promoting, and, you know, go look at, uh, you know, I get some flack sometimes about uh, keep continuing to talk about what I can do. I, I certainly am confident in my abilities, and I do have an ego, <laughs> but uh, I can, I'm very confident that I can back up those things, um, you know, but, yeah, so I'm basically at a, at a crossroads in my life, and I like to think uh, I'm going to do what I set out to do is mow a path right down the fucking center of my own. But um, I'm kind of like thinking, well, either, yeah, it's getting pretty stressful here. There's so much infiltration in my life on a daily basis, so much to clean up, you know, set up, for, you know, not only for myself, but for everybody, even those who are involved in doing it, because believe me, I have cleaned up for everybody, and I don't apologize for that, but, um, yeah, I'm getting a headache, I'm getting sick of hearing myself, um, oh yeah, the cross, was basically set up, um, kind of like what happened with John Gotti, when the, when the, uh, government just infiltrated and stalked and surveilled his life on endless amounts, um, till they finally, you know, got a, charge and go fear. They have so many people they've influenced to lie and rat and they're scared for their lives and so much of the story is unreliable and it's all just corrupt, you know, corrupt vote. I could go off into that. You can see I have a lot of passion about a lot of things is because I do. Um, I'm, I'm focusing on trying to make these more succinct. <laughs> and do more of them, but I thought tonight it'd be a good night, since I was feeling stressed out about one, um, the amount of infiltration in my life, um, agitation formally that is set up everywhere I go, and certainly the society that I move into, and I'm moving around a lot, so, besides just being at my house, um, so, that is a concern, I mean, that's stressful, I mean, I don't, if they did set me up and send me to prison for the rest of my life, like, certainly there's been many, many occasions where the, um, the frame job was there, um, I just, karma connects, whatever you call, um, luck, uh, but I don't call it luck, I call it, you know, good karma, I suppose, if you want to put a name on it, I, I handled myself well, I, I did the best, I had the drive that I could in any situation to, not yet be uh, a victim of framing and uh, or, or you know the government you know you hear about these kill lists you think certainly the people that don't think they're real are not informed and the ones who many of them who do are not a, a, don't care because then um, their fear if they brought it up anyway they'd be killed you know everybody's it's kind of where I anyway the crossroads. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to go to prison for the rest of my life. And if I do, you know, due to frame job, you know what? I can tell you about ninety nine point nine percent what's going to happen. I'm thirty four years old now, ladies and gentlemen. I, 
a uh, been to prison once, and I learned at that time I don't. I'm never coming back, or, or I don't want to come back, or I learned how to do things appropriately in my mind to not go back, and not bad things, just live. Um, now here's the thing, if I go back, um, I'm, t I'm tired, not like, <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, I've, I've been through the, the legal fucking, uh, headaches, and having, uh, I, I, I don't have them in me, I'll, uh, I'm not saying I'll, kill myself on the first day, but you get me into a joint, a prison, once, you know, after sentencing and blah, 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 frame, you know, perhaps, I mean, you get me into a joint, there's a million ways I have to think about um, not spending the rest of my life in prison, and by that I don't mean escaping, I mean, yes, just going to sleep. <laughs> You're going to take all the um, dreams and passion <clears throat> from me, and you are um, uh, able to achieve it that way, then certainly... I have no reason to live. Otherwise, um, if you kill me, I, I don't worry about that. I mean, certainly I would if you were up in, you know, <laughs> invading my home or my space or my, you know, surroundings, the things I care about. Certainly then I would be um, anxious, fearful, and that fear would drive me to react very, uh, <laughs> I, I'd have to say, uh, but violently, uh, appropriately, to anybody who's uh, threatening my life with danger, but certainly I don't sit around ever and worry about dying. If I died, you know, I'd be dead. I, you know, certainly things, you know, I don't want to bitch, but I mean, you know, not much fun. I, I feel very validated and satisfied in every day of my life, but and I think that's that way for a lot of us. But the crossroads, okay, so that or else the other one, the one I would like is to have people do what I've done for so many others. And it's hard for me to ask for things. <laughs> so believe it or not, I have pride in my self. Anyway, stand behind me. Give me an investment, an opportunity um, or collaborate with me, or at least talk to me one-on-one -on -one about potential ventures and business ideas, meaning, you know, in many different forms, music, you know, online business, uh, you know, like it was talking about the clothing thing, there's endless amounts of ideas and concepts I have, and I think if you go back and look, at, or go and look at all my work online, you can kind of get an idea of where I stand in that, and certainly if you have any interest or any, you know, thoughts about that, you can contact me. I'm not, <laughs> for Christ's sakes, my number changes on a regular basis. I lose, or they grow legs, or I crush them, or, but, um, I'm not hard to get a hold of, or certainly you can find a way to get a hold of me. I, I have no doubt. Um, for, you know, I, I'd, I'd be ecstatic to, uh, start working in, you know, different, you know, acting. Absolutely. I have a passion you know, would have an infinite passion for that. Um, I, I, I know I'd be, you know, I, certainly again, there I'd be going in as a sponge, learning as much as I could from those who can help or who have done it much longer than I have in making what they have taught me my own and using it with my own concepts and visions. And that, I'd take that into anything. And basically, anytime I am and I'll say employed this time, but I mean, working with or for somebody, um, it's my concept and I stand by this 100%. I'm not there and I have a very strong worth ethic personally to get things done. Anyway, point being, if I'm not there making money for or making money or making the whole process better or doing so, then why would I be making money for myself? I'm obviously, and I won't get involved in things I do not have a passion for. And uh, it's just impossible for me to work in that type of setting. I mean, on a formal level, I've done endless work. I should have gone to college and got a socialism, got involved in socialism. I'd be a doctorate by now. <laughs> Literally, a doctorate in socialism. You know, I... <sighs> So many talents and, you know, abilities that I've honed that can not only make my life better, but can help a lot of others and entertain and, like, affect 
others, and I have a lot of ways that others who are going through the same things I have struggled with from either, you know, from legal to law or from people, you know, not accepting you or the, um, I certainly have developed endless amounts of tactics to uh, thwart that the best I can. I think I've done pretty damn good. I'm still here alive and not in prison for the rest of my life doing to certainly frame and set up, which is an ongoing thing um, in my life on a daily basis. Um, so uh, I'm just going to wrap that I get a hold of me. I, I'm certainly don't want charity because I don't think at all I'd be charity. I, I thought, I remember being in the streets a couple of years, must be three years ago, I thought to myself, and I wasn't being egotistical at all, I thought to myself, and I probably was right, you know, the moment Vince, and I think I was wrong in this area, Vince McMahon, who I have no interest in currently working for, and believe me, I, I can suspect that he has no interest uh, working with me anyway at the moment, because let's face it, the company, the WWE, is certainly um, a corporate company, and uh, they have a PG rating, and certainly I am not the best fit for that product. Um, in my mind, and I, I have to believe in theirs, as it stands now, that doesn't mean I can't have uh, conversations at any given point with anybody and respect anybody within that boundary, or even if um, what in my mind is so lacking in business all across the board is one-on-one -on -one conversation. Um, you know, it used to be back in the day, you know, I'm comfortable with the fact that if somebody contacts me or I contact them one-on-one, -on -one, um, that even if we don't come to terms or don't come to some relevant idea, well, shit, maybe it was just cool as hell to me to contact and meet somebody that maybe I drank a few beers with at my house or theirs and smoked some potter and, you know, like had a good time while throwing brainstorming ideas or even beginning starting on collaboration or work of some sort or my own um, in different areas. So, you know, if things don't always come out to a end product as far as a, something that is produced and put out there for the... Uh, the world to purchase or to view, that doesn't mean, oh my God, you know, I'm ever going to be super stooge believer. He just, he had that coming. Um, God, how many times was it? Super stooge Billy Graham. I got to qualify. Well, why is he fucking lied and narked on Vince in the federal trial and then Shit, what was it? It was something else. Jesus Christ. Well, and then Vince gave him uh, uh, much credit to Vince McMahon. He uh, inducted him in the Hall of Fame a few years ago and brought him in and welcomed him in. Everybody's so nice to him. And then when the Benoit thing happened, which was just complete and a, uh, a, a perfect example of just the complete misinformation and bullshit that goes along with the media, especially people like Super Stooge Billy Graham just completely doing a 180 and, you know, throwing everything his whole life under the bus and other people that he's worked with and that are, could be affected by him being out there and trying to make a name for himself while throwing a whole... You understand what I'm saying? And uh, it's just... Uh, <laughs> anyway... Yeah, I don't want to die, but I certainly am getting to the point where, you know, there's days where many days pass. It could be over the past few years where, you know, sometimes people reference too back. I, I don't know what happened there. I don't believe in anything other than what I know for a fact. And certainly if I didn't know, think I didn't know something, I wouldn't express it. But, but the point is, I've heard concepts that maybe Tupac wanted to be killed. And if he did, and I certainly don't know that for any fact, um, I can certainly relate with that in the instance that if you're going to try and put me in prison and set me up, or if you're going to try and watch me die, so you somehow by, um, by proxy kill me, meaning not just come up and, you know, battle me one one, but somehow sweep it under the fucking rug, you know, make it look like, well, you know, I, I believe, you know. They have a million, I know, they have a million ways to kill a person. 